Yes. Yes, Devontae Smith. Contract extension. There is so much more to this deal than we realize. It's insane. Howie Roseman takes advantage of certain situations. Devontae Smith gets a contract a contract extension, but he's here, including this year, he's here for five years, which is insane. We're going to get into the details, how important this is for the future, and why it's happening Let's talk about it right now. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. Yeah, what is going on, guys? And oh my God, we, we finally got it done. Like, I didn't think this was going to happen now. I thought it was going to happen at least before training camp, maybe after, maybe during the season, something like that. But before all the other wide receivers were signed, Devontae Smith was the first one signed, okay? Much respect to Devontae Smith. Now, to get some more information on the deal itself. Now, we're going to go on the official report that Devontae Smith ended up getting a four-year deal worth $90.59 million extension, keeping him in Philadelphia through the 2028 season. This deal, okay, this deal, because originally, okay, so the deal originally, okay, or, or was reported to three-year $75 million contract, $51 million guaranteed, okay? This is technically, like a, including this year, Devontae Smith is going to be here for five years, the 2028 season. The Eagles are taking advantage of the opportunity since he was a first-round pick. The Eagles are picking up his fifth-year option next year. Okay, Devontae Smith's still on his current contract right now in 24. In 25, they're picking up his fifth-year option worth 15.5, whatever it is. Okay? And then the next three years after that, he'll get paid $22.5 million a year. I mean... That's just insane, dude. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, T. Higgins, C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson. I mean, seriously, these guys aren't even paid yet. And Howie Roseman jumped the gun, got this guy signed. Now, this shows so much respect. Now, I don't, I don't, look, I don't put too much on, you know, I, I, I'm going to hate players for wanting their money. Okay, it makes the Hassan Reddick stuff interesting, too, because they could assign him very easily with this deal, especially in the background now. They take control of this fifth-year option. They add three more years to that contract. Well, he'll be a free agent after the 2028 season. Amon St. Brown, T. Higgins, Justin Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk. These guys haven't got paid yet. It's going to, the wide receiver, the wide receiver, uh, the, 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 the salaries are going to be crazy. It's going to explode really soon um, before, before the season starts and what these receivers are going to get paid. So you're, you're paying, it, it's, it's literally chips next year. You're paying Devontae Smith nothing on a fifth-year option next year. $16 million fully guaranteed. That's nothing. From what he's giving you, it's absolutely nothing. And then $22.5 million after that for three years. I mean, that's, sorry, $22.5 million per year for three years after that. It's just insane. I'm just going crazy over this. Much respect to Devontae Smith for wanting to stay in Philadelphia. And what I'm hearing from all the all the Philly outlets, okay, or at least from the NFL, some of the NFL analysts as well, that that Devontae Smith wants to want to stay in Philadelphia. That it was his number one his number one thing was to stay in Philadelphia and, and he wants to stay and that's that's all it was. That's it. You know what I mean? Culture. A homegrown talent drafted in Philadelphia, this is the type of player that you get. It's a Heisman Trophy winner. Remember how he Roseman did say this offseason that he wasn't going to let Devontae Smith walk out the door. This is a player that you got to keep that's, high on, that's playing at a high level. I don't even think Devontae Smith has even reached his ceiling yet at this point. But this contract, Howie Roseman is killing it. And we have 10 days, sorry, 10 or 9 days, whenever you're watching this, until the draft, we still got more moves. And the Eagles still have $30 million, a little over $30 million in cap space. It's absolutely insane what Howie has done this offseason. Locking up Mulata, locking up Dickerson. And, you know, I mean, now all these rumors, now there's all this always oh, A.J. Brown satisfied with Devontae Smith's contract. And now, like, the media is trying to, is trying to or, you know, Dan Cilio, or the media, the media in general is trying to break them two up yet again. Every time something good happens with a player, it's always competition. Got to break two guys up between Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Because, you know, A.J. Brown's a whole other story going into next. The next offseason, A.J. Brown will be the big story. Is he going to play out through his contract? 
Um, or is he going to, you know, become a free agent after next year? So we'll get to that when we get to that. But this opens the door for a million possibilities. The reason why you can get away with something like this is because not only your your cap is going up the next two years, it's going up $20 million next year. The Eagles are going to have over $60 million in cap space next year. No joke. Okay, the cap goes up the next two years. You're getting four point fourteen point five million from the Asan Reddick trade, so you got a big chunk of cap coming back next year for next off season. So financially, we have never looked better than we when we have in the past because you're drafting well and because Howie Roseman has full control. And I gotta respect the owner and Jeffrey Lurie because to be honest with you. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of owners that are very cheap, okay? Jerry Jones has to pay like three guys going into between after this year. Okay, so you look at certain GM or sorry, not even GMs, but owners in general, okay, and I have to give Jeffrey Lurie respect for giving Howie all the control to to you know to sign a check like that, you know, to pay the guys that he wants to stay in Philadelphia. That there's no difference, there's no question about it. You've got to keep a talent like this. This is a Heisman Trophy winner, dude. This is a guy that's going to show you excellence, mentality. He's going to show you great work ethic, how he studies film, how he plays. You know, Devontae Smith, when you talk some shit to him, he's going to fire himself up. But, you know, he's mostly a quiet player that goes in and really just carries himself by example on the field for the Philadelphia Eagles. And that's all I want. Much respect for Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith just wanted to get something done and get it done now. And you know what? Of course, Devontae Smith probably had an original number, uh, you know, that, you know, he had on the table probably. And they w- kind of waited out a little bit. And the Eagles just worked all the extra stuff, you know, behind the scenes. And Devontae Smith thinks that, you know, whatever I get paid is I'm going to get paid. I'm going to make, I've been, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to get paid even more money. And that's all that matters. And I just want to stay in Philadelphia. It's the number one thing. It's all about the culture of this team. It's all about... I, I mean, Devontae Smith was never thinking about leaving Philadelphia. We already know this, but man, what a what a deal! This deal is going to look even better. I mean, he won't even see the end. He probably won't even see the end of his contract because they'll probably extend him again. Because realistically, like it's a steal contract, and using that fifth year option as a loophole, really, because he's a first round pick. You use that fifth year option. You pay him almost sixteen. Fully guaranteed, 15.59 for 25. And then the next three years, you pay him the $22.5 million where the Eagles didn't have to use a fifth year option. They could have just paid him 22 to 25 million, you know, in the next three years. But you have him for five years, including this year. Five seasons of Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith is man, that's awesome. So glad. Didn't think it was gonna get done. And before all these other receivers that got signed, man, it shows. Not only the respect that Jeffrey Lurie and, and Howie Roseman is, is is catering to these players and how he moves the numbers and how how you know because the culture is what matters. You know, what, I, you just watch what Justin Jefferson's gonna want. You just watch what these other players. I know, I they don't. Some of these homegrown talents that are drafted from their own teams and T Higgins and some of these other guys, they're gonna want they're gonna want to suck their team dry, pause, no ditty as much as possible. Okay. It's going to get insane what this wide receiver market's going to be because Howie Roseman's looking at the cap in the next couple of years that's going to go up. These receivers are going to get paid even more money in the future. It's going to happen. The, the price is going to keep rising. But in Devontae Smith's case, he wants to be in Philadelphia over getting the most money, and that's a lot of respect towards Devontae Smith. I'm not, I'm not mad at players that want more money, but when you have guys that don't care about the other cap space or guys that want – as much money as possible, want to make it work, but, you know, do still care about the franchise. That does matter. But there are players out there that don't give a shit, like some of these other ones that are just going to suck the team dry for everything they have. And, you know, it just it's all about me, me getting paid. That's all I care about. Don't care about nothing else. I don't care what other moves that you have to do as a GM. I want to get my shit together. I want to get my money, and that's all that matters. And this really proved towards Devontae Smith's... Um, his respect towards this team and, 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 and the team that drafted him and the respect towards Howie Roseman. Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie having a lot of respect for their players and, and really you can't let a you can't let a player like this walk out the door. Okay. This is the first time in so many years, okay. We're, 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 a lot of Eagles fans are ungrateful. That's the total truth. Because we are in, we went from a Travis Fulgham, we went from a Jalen Rager, a JJ Ortega Whiteside, we went from a Doyle Green Beckham. I mean, I'm I'm serious. Like it goes back 
to where we haven't had a tandem like this in so freaking long with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. We, man, if the coaching could just be right, what this could turn into is endless. And this is just a monstrous deal. So that's all I got to say. I hope you guys are happy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for Eagles news every single day. And definitely like the video. It does help the channel out a lot. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Devontae Smith and what do you guys think about the contract in general. Five, five years with Devontae Smith. And we still have the draft. Damn. What a time to be a Philadelphia Eagle. See you guys on the next one. Jake's what up. Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.